Great new day and welcome back to my channel. I'm Cherish and this is Shadows to Sunshine. And I'm here with your February Snow Moon Lunar Oracle reading. Um, we will have clarifiers coming from the African Goddess Oracle, but our primary messages will be received as usual through the Queen of the Moon Oracle. Um, not a lot going on this week. As I mentioned previously, nothing is retrograding right now. Currently, everything is direct and we are coming into a full moon that is in Leo. So be prepared for a lot of fiery energy going on, but let's go ahead and let's dive in. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these shuffled up real good. I've already cleaned the cards. We're gonna do a three card spread. We will have the issue at hand, the challenge you're facing and the solution with the queen of the moon oracle. And then we will go into the soul, mind, and body. So your first card is purity. I know why I do what I do. And it is the snow moon. So I love that when we pull the card of the actual moon that we are in that energy. It's just even more confirmation. So let's get our final two cards. So self-reflection, I am not afraid to look deeply at myself in all aspects and hot extremes. I handle extremes with grace, yet I seek balance in all things. So it seems like we're facing a lot of self-doubt. So we're going to go ahead with purity. Look for the simple and clean solutions. Make sure to be clear in your communications. Understand your intentions and motivations. Be secure in your problem-solving capabilities. With your self-reflection, it's okay to be curious about you. You need to learn you in order to steer you. And with extremes, you have to handle crises with calm resilience and find balance instead of extremes. So let's go ahead and get our clarifiers. The first card will be your what your soul needs to know and clarify what that purity is. What solutions are you looking for? Okay, so we got the wounded healer and it is safe to put myself first, okay? And then let's go ahead and get our final two clarifiers. Oh, there goes that next one. Um, you got the shame. So your affirmation is, I am protected. And then we'll go ahead and get this last clarifier so we can dig deep into this message. And your final card is Manifestations. So let's dive into the deeper meaning behind this. Um, with your first set, why are you making yourself a martyr? Focus on healing yourself. Um, that is the quickest solution to most of your problems is taking that time to focus inside. And the Skemet card is actually a fire card. As I stated, this snow moon is in Leo, so I'm not surprised that the clarifier is in fire. With your next set, um, your challenge and what you're thinking, I just, I'm curious as to why you're scared. You're not enough. You need to accept yourself and present yourself. Show the world who you are. Like, I know that's challenging for you, but take that time to figure that out. With your final card, just remember that someone may be stirring the pot, but it's not going to stop what's meant for you. Showers of blessings are yours in the end. So, again, you need to take this time to heal yourself, focus on looking for who you truly are inside, knowing who you are and why you move the way you move. 
with the self-reflection, it's time to put that shame away. You've been carrying this for so long, like feeling like you can't, but you really need to look inside and see how powerful you truly are. Because once you're able to recognize that power and move forward, you're going to come into your solutions. So just be patient with yourself. You are enough. You're not in competition with anybody else. Just the you that you were yesterday. So let's get these put back where they go. And let's focus on what the solution is and what is going to be coming in the physical. You are going to thrive. Like there are going to be discomfort. There's going to be times when you want to be outraged, you want to express your rage, and rage is righteous. It's not that it's wrong, but don't stand in the way of your own manifestations because somebody's stirring the pot and got the best of you. I hope this message reaches who it should and those who need it. Thank you for joining us this week, and I will see you soon.